What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 9 of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Blind Let's Play. In the last episode, we completed most of, uh, most of Route 2. Uh, we thwarted the terrible berry thievery attempts of Team Skull, and we are now about to head into uh, what seems to be the Island Challenge. I, I guess, I'm guessing this is kind of like gym. Uh, like a basically basically a gym basically the first gym so um, We're gonna head in and oh, I, but I wanted to talk about something that I, I saw brought up in one of the comments of uh, An earlier video the reason that the time slots are different apparently I'm, I'm learning is that Pokemon moon is set 12 hours different from Whatever your DS's internal clock is versus Pokemon Sun which is on time so because I'm Pokemon moon earlier when I mentioned uh, in the last episode that it said it was 2 o'clock aka 2 a.m. That's uh, it's 1 p.m. here now, so I'm assuming Factoring daylight saving time. Maybe the the DS doesn't know that the time has changed it actually uh, It actually is correct. The clock is correct. It's just off by 12 hours because of uh, Pokemon moon, so thank you for that. Thank you for the comments. I am reading them and uh, we're going to keep moving here, so this is the only place we can really go and talk to Elima. Greetings. Captain Elima here, and my trial begins mere steps from here in the Verdant Cavern. Note that Pokémon living within Verdant Cavern are quite fierce. I wouldn't venture in unless you were prepared some potions and so forth. Through attempting the trials during the island challenge, one can exceed his or her own limits. That is what the Alolan people believe. It is known. <laughs> Once you enter the Verdant Cavern, you will not be able to leave until you've completed the trial. Are you prepared for the trial? Yes. I'll be waiting for you. <clears throat> All right. Let's get it going. Designated trial site for the Island Challenge. Rotom said something, but I was too busy reading the other thing. So, uh, so in we go. Verdant Cavern. Okay, this is beautiful. This has got, like, uh, Legend of Zelda tree temple, forest temple. Don't you need to go to the end? Can I, can I just fight you now? That's the challenge, right? Let me formally welcome you to Verdant Cavern. I am your captain, Ilima. Allow me to explain the basics of my trial. What you should attempt to do is... Hmm? Chase the Rattata? Defeat three of the Pokémon that lurk here in the dens. Then reach the pedestal deep within the cave and collect the Z-Crystal there. You'll need to be completely in sync with your Pokemon to succeed. Kiki 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 ki. No oh dear, there's one more thing I forgot to mention. Many strong Pokemon make their home in this cave, but one stronger and more fearsome than the rest, known as the Totem Pokemon, also resides in here. It will be the greatest obstacle you face as you attempt to clear my trial. By the way, until you clear the trial, you will not be able to catch Pokemon in Verdant Cavern. This is but one of seven trials you will face during your island challenge. And it begins now. The trial of Captain Elima. Trial start. Am I timed? So if I drop down there, I can get the item later. I'm going to look inside because I saw... Uh, I saw the evil Rattata in there. Standing on two legs with its mustache. I should have named it Old Man Tup when I nicknamed it. I named it Zom, but I should have nicknamed it Old Man Tup. Failure on my part. Get O-Code! Oh my goodness! Ah! The Vapors. Goose to 13, wants to learn Odor Sleuth so I can hit some ghost types. It's probably better than Sand Attack. So we'll do that. Miggy grown to 13. Okay, very cool. Very, very cool. Still two more Pokemon to defeat. 
item. Super potion, very cool. I'll sell that later. Got another hole here. Ooh, a dust. I got attacked by dust, but I can't catch any Pokemon in here. Looking like just a bunch of Rattatas, but this is the first gym. I can't be expected to uh, see dozens and dozens and dozens of Pokemon right from the outright. Rattata goes down in your face. Men's going to 14. Again, I'd like to reiterate, very cool. Still one more Pokemon to defeat. Oh, what is that? Citrus berry. He dropped a citrus berry on the ground. Oh, that's, uh... So that was one of those, uh... The Pokemon that seeks you out, that tries to chase you down, that we were talking about in the last episode. We've got a TM here. Brick Break. Amazing. Amazing. Let's see if there's anyone that, uh... I can learn that, actually. Brick Break's a good... Solid TM. See, this is crazy that Peck Peck is learning. Uh, Picky Peck can learn fighting type moves like that. That's going to make him really competitive, actually. Brick Break is, what, 75 power to Rock Smash is 40? Might lower the defense stat, but I don't really care that much for that. I'm going to teach uh, this to Picky Peck. Seventy-five power. In theory, that makes it stronger than Force Palm for for Makuhita. I'm not too worried about that right now. Uh, anything else that's good that I can learn? This lowers special attack stat. Work up. Uh, can get a little power boost. Let's see. Work up instead of Sand Attack for you. That sounds good to me. Excellent. Very cool. Learning some TMs. Making moves. Making movies. Making songs. I see a, a, a figure up in the distance. A little walkway path here. Aha! A third Pokemon. So that's a drop down area. So I can't go down that way. I have to go up and around over here. Do I have to crawl? Yeah. Grab this item. Another super potion. Hop down here. I'll look inside. There's nothing inside. Oh, he moved. Alright. So we'll go up to that one. And now he's probably going to move to the left. He's going to show no, and then it's going to be on the, the cabin down here. Yep, knew it. Called it. Uh, is this a trainer? He's a trial guide here to help boys and girls. There's Sorry, they won't let me through there until I've fought this last Pokemon over here. I'm assuming it's just going to be another Rattata. So, okay. The question now is whether or not this is a puzzle. Do they want me to just run around chasing them, or is this a puzzle? If so, the pattern I'm noticing is that... Oh. Yeah, they just wanted me to run around. So, Grunt B and Grunt A. Is your berry thief boys back again? Remember us? Ooh, man, that's going to get under their skin. If I say sorry, who are you? That's mad disrespect. Just because we switched places, you can't tell who we are anymore? Yo, who cares about that anyway? We're here to mess up his trial, yo. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yo, let's get that person's Pokemon, homie. Churge. Uh, uh, get it. Get it. What? <laughs> this grunt, man. I'm having too much fun. I, I like this game so far. I do, I gotta be honest, I do miss the, um, the gym element, but I'm, a, I'm loving that this new take on it. It's like a, like a challenge mode kind of thing going on instead of just walking in battling it gets generic but i do like the puzzles from gym so that's very cool um let's uh let's check brion's brion stats uh real quick just to see whether or not i'm still kind of equal in hp or not hp in attack and 
special attack. Now, special attack is pretty significantly higher now. Although, Drowsy's defense is really bad. So, I think Aqua Jet might still be ha harder hitting. But, let's go with the Water Gun for... I out-level this guy by a lot. So, this should still two-hit KO. It's close. So, let's switch back over to... Um, let's switch back over to Aqua Jet. There we go. Because Drowsy's got really low defense and really high special defense. So uh, it made more sense to do it that way. Yo, is it cool with me to be in Team Skull if I'm this brittle? He knows the word brittle. At least somewhat educated. Yo, what's up with that? For real though, I can't get my skull around it. This kid's mad strong, yo. <laughs> nah, I ain't even like that. This kid is straight up dangerous, homie. Dangerous. I don't know, man. Isn't this whole place trouble? Yeah, it totally is, homie. I mean, that thing is so strong that regular Pokemon don't even want to come out and battle. So he's out. They out. Busting. Wait, you're back? Yo, kid. You know there's a mad strong Pokemon lurking back here somewhere, right? I'd run if I were you. Nah, we're not going out like that. We gotta get our revenge. Go stand over that den and catch that skulking Rattata, yo. For real? Fine. I got no bones to pick with you. Interesting. So they're going into that area there. I'm gonna come up and around here. So it looked like they were trying to guide me through the all three holes just to sort of progress the story. But this is the last time we saw the dust. So it looks like it is there. Okay. They weren't trying to play some trick, trying to make me figure out the pattern. It was... The Ooh! We got Eradicate! They said we can't catch anything in here though, right? It's so ugly. <laughs> it is so ugly. I love it. I honestly, I really honestly do. Uh, I don't want to kill it right away just to see if I can catch it. I think I recall them saying that I can't. Uh, but I want to do it anyway. I just want to... Until the trial is complete, I think they said we can't catch anything. But I'm just going to... I don't know. Super Fang, you punk. Yeah, I, I, if I had been smart and looked, I would have noticed that the Pokeball image wasn't even on the menu there. So, no catching this Raticate. We'll just take him out. 208 EXP. That's good. Defeated all the Pokemon. So that should mean that I'm free to move up and across over here. What's this kid doing? Nothing. Go right inside. Now, to the heart of the cave. It's finally time to get your mitts on the first Z crystal. Sturdy looking rock. More powerful Pokemon could break it. Oh, hold on. I am dumb. I literally had Rock Smash, didn't I? On Picky Peck. That's frustrating. Did I miss out on an item just because I did that? That's really frustrating. So is this the totem Pokemon? Just another Raticate? Raticate number two? <sighs> Raticate, the totem Pokemon of Verdant Cavern has appeared. So it's just going to be a stronger Pokemon. Probably should have healed uh, Lil P before I did this. Totem Raticate. Whoa. Okay, very cool. I want to make sure I can't catch this one too. Definitely cannot. He's level 12, so not that much stronger unless Totem Power makes him ridiculously strong. So let's just hit him with a Disarming Voice. Super effective against this Raticate. Definitely much stronger. He's going to have a scary face. So uh, that's going to make me that I'm way slower. Harshly fell my speed. And he called an ally Pokemon. So now it's a, what, it's a 2v1? I can choose who to target. Oh, no, I don't need to. I don't need to worry about that because um, Disarming Voice is actually AoE. 
So I'm going to pop this. Uh, he, they're both going to go. Oh, thank goodness. The Quick Claw is going to pop first. So I'm going to be able to get this Disarming Voice off. Hit both of them. The half damage is going to mean I don't kill Raticate, but I do weaken the Rattata. Or I kill the Rattata and weaken the Raticate. Raticate's going to get one more move off. He's going to go for the Bite. I should be able to live that. Yeah, I won't be able to live one more, though. But I should be able to now finish him off with an Aqua Jet uh, before he gets a chance to to do anything else. Yep, Raticate goes down. And that was a good battle. Lil' P bringing the noise. Peck Peck to 14. I'm expecting Peck Peck to evolve pretty soon. Level 14 for a for a try evolution? Because 32 was what level that Pidgeotto evolved into Pidgeot. But I think Pidgeotto was 18 or 16. So probably I'm, I'm still not quite there yet with Picky Peck. Oh, <laughs> spoke too soon. Okay. All right. We got an evolution here, guys. Ah! I bet it's going to be a slightly bigger bird with a slightly longer beak. Probably still not flying, but it might be mid-flight animation. It is mid-flight animation. Okay, very cool. Drum beak. Drum beak. And I'm realizing that all of my nicknames <laughs> no longer work when I evolve my Pokemon. So, peck peck instead of trum beak. Trum beak. Keen Eye was the ability I had on the on the Picky Pack. So let's see what uh, Trumbeak's got. I'm excited by, by the look of things because I thought it was going to kind of stick with the big head body thing. But it's looking to be... I'm really excited for what the final evolution looks like here. Still normal flying. By bending its beak, it can produce a variety of calls and brand itself a noisy nuisance for its neighbors. And maybe this Pokemon will learn um, Boom Burst also. We'll get a new Boom Burster in there. Raticate disappeared back into the cave. Elima says, What an incredible trainer you are. For you to be able to feed the totem Pokemon that I had trained up so to such a powerful state, I, I don't know what I can say. Working in harmony with your Pokemon, you have cleared the trial of Elima. You're a phenomenal trainer. Congratulations, Geo. The Z-Crystal from the pedestal is now yours. What you got, huh? Swing! Child complete. I like that. I like this. I like what they got going on here. Uh, Normalium Z. So I'm assuming I can now hit for normal type or something. Is that what? You open up the Z crystals pocket and put the Normalium Z. Normal. It says normal in it, so it's something. If that for, if it's for Mega Evolution, maybe it evolves normal type. Maybe they're changing the way that works. Normal Z crystal. It is known. I knew they were gonna say it is. It is known as Normalium Z. Now, if you let a Pokemon that can use a normal type move hold that. And strike an elegant pose, you'll be able to strengthen a normal type move by unleashing Z power. Moving right along. Something I forgot to mention. The totem Pokemon in every locale where a captain holds his or her trials, you will encounter a particularly strong Pokemon like Raticate just now. And during battles against such Pokemon, they may summon allies to shore up their offense. It is not a tactic often seen in other regions. Perhaps Pokemon in Alola are simply more inclined to help one another. Since you have managed to defeat the totem Pokemon and proved yourself, you can now try and catch any of the Pokemon you find here in this cave. In fact, have some Great Balls. Cool. So I saw a, uh, I see a green, or sorry, a yellow Pokeball shining up top. So there's a TM up there. But I, um, I'm an idiot and I got rid of my Rock Smash ability. So I can't get up there until I get Rock Smash again. That is so frustrating. Yeah. <sighs> 
I'm really annoyed by that. I honestly am. I don't really want to catch more Rattatas, to be honest. So, uh, we're just going to head outside. He missed a quick attack? That confuses me. Very confusing. Goose growing to level 14. Okay. Oh, item on the ground because it was because uh, I was attacked. So okay, so sometimes when you get attacked, when a Pokemon uh, comes up on you like that, and you get attacked, an item will be left behind. A Diglett, very cool. I love Diglett. Diglett is so weak though, and I'm worried that I'm gonna just knock him out outright. So let's switch Pokemon here. Um, go over to Picky Peck. No, Trumbeak. Go into Trumbeak, and uh, if he has any stab moves for me, I will resist those. Metal Claw, of course. And Peck Peck, why don't you hit him with that, um, hit him with that, wait. For some reason, Peck is not very effective. So, is this a slightly different, and Brick Break is super effective. So, Diglett is rock type. So, this must be an Alolan Diglett. Interesting. Well, I don't want to kill it. That's the thing. Um, pack a 35 power stab move. Interesting. I thought I was being clever here, but this is a rock type Pokemon. Uh, two shouldn't kill it. It just hit me with a growl though. So I might not even bring it down into red zone at this point. But let's get with another, hit it with another pack. Uh, can't, can't lower my accuracy because of because of that, but also Sand Attack is ground type, so it shouldn't have affected me anyway. So it's interesting that it chose to do it in that regard. Let's throw a Pokeball at this thing's tiny little beautiful face. Uh, sorry. I looked away for a second. What happened? Diglett got caught. <laughs> Diglett got caught. Very cool. The rest of the team getting a little EXP. Diglett stayed in the Pokedex. Look at this Alolan form Diglett. It's got a little hair on its head. That's pretty much the only difference. They should have colored it differently. Maybe it is colored differently. Maybe I don't remember what color. Okay, not rock type, steel type. Ground steel. Um, do I want to run a Diglett? Yeah, let's run a Diglett. Let's run a Diglett, guys. Um, what are we gonna name this? So this is a female Diglett, um, and Diglett's kind of kind of cute. And one of the um, comments I got in an earlier video was uh, from the the bearded marine who was asking me to to nickname a Pokemon after his fiance. So so here you go. This one's gonna be nicknamed Ally. So thank you for watching. There you go. This is a, your gift to you uh, and to your fiance. So. Allie joining the party here. So let's throw Allie in, uh, in lieu of whom. So I know that with Miggy's not going to be super useful for a really long time. Hypnosis helps for capturing Pokemon. So it is useful to have that here. I'm going to drop Miggy. I am. I, I do like ghost type Pokemon, but it's not going to be of much use right now. The, the benefits of ghost type um, aren't aren't are kind of difficult to see this early in the game. So um, and we see a little dusty dusty cloud here. So probably I'm assuming this is just another Rattata, but I want to do my due diligence before I leave. It is another Rattata. I feel comfortable leaving this zone now. Uh, having finished this last guy off with a disarming voice. I 
feel like I keep getting healed to full. Like my my PP and my HP, and I'm not really sure why. I'm not complaining, but I dropped an item there, an Orin berry. Cool. Very cool. So now we'll just step outside here, and uh, we're gonna call it a day, I think. Oh no, we gotta talk to. We'll have a quick conversation with uh, Ilima first. Greetings. Captain and Lima here. As you travel around the islands of Alola, you will find captain's barricades here and there. <laughs> These barricades help mark areas where particularly strong Pokemon can be found. Anyone passing through them, of course. If they are escorted by a strong trainer, those attempting the island challenge can pass the barricades, as long as they clear the trials. Are you ready? Then behold the power of a captain. Touch the fence, that's it. Oh! <laughs> Sweet power, bro. You moved a fence. And voila! Your world just got a little bigger. I'm the only captain here on Mele Mele Island, meaning my trial is the only one here. Now, if you've cleared the trial, please inform our island kahuna, Hala. Ooh, what do we got? Kukui's here. Shaka, bruh. Hey there, Gio. Oh, looking at the expression on Lima's face, I'd say you cleared the first trial, yeah. Guess I better give you a little reward, too. Time to learn about Z-Power. Woo. <laughs> Start off by selecting compatible Z-Crystal from the Z-Crystal's pocket of your bag. Then use the Z-Crystal you choose on a Pokemon. Z crystals are compatible with a Pokemon if it knows a move of the same type as the crystal. And you'll be able to use Z powers in battle. And don't worry, you can use your Z crystals over and over on as many Pokemon as you want. Okay. So it's like a. It's a move. Watch and learn, cousin. I think I get it, but. It's not super clear, so actually this is kind of... There's a Growlithe in those gardens? Goodness me. And he has a Rock Ruff. How come I don't have a Rock Ruff? So he clicks Fight. He's holding... So he has Z Power on the left there, where it would be a Mega. Use Z Power. Check it out. So he clicks it. Breakneck, breakneck Blitz or Z Leer. So he does this dance. And Z powers. Surround itself with Z power. And it's a full four Z move. Breakneck blitz. <laughs> no, it did not. And it O-code the Growlithe. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to want to get some info on that move, please. Phew. Z powers. Heap all the trainer's feelings out of Pokemon, yeah. Which totally wears you out. Using Z power once per battle is all a team can handle, yeah. Oh, so that's why you've been looking so ragged, Professor. No, it's like I was hit with amnesia. I forgot I lost little Lily somewhere around Route 3. Think you could spare some time to help me look for her, Geo? Killer wave. I can go have a look around the cave for you in case she wandered that way. Thanks, cousin. Let's split up and find her, yeah? I wonder if Team Skull took her out. So, okay, this is a great place to end this episode. Uh, Rotom is saying, where could Lily have gone off to? Route 3 is not big. It's probably over there. So, uh, great place to end this episode. That was a really fun trial, and we're getting introduced to the Z-Power thing, which is also uh, very cool. So I'm gonna have to pick a, a Pokemon to throw that onto. So maybe I'll I'll do a little do a little off-screen checking, and I'll let you guys know in the next episode. Uh, that'll be your little cliffhanger to keep you guys watching as we move on to uh, on to the next episode. So as always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys, the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys next time.